It's the Champions League, we're playing Liverpool, and then you get a treat of a league game. Something we haven't shown on this series for quite some time, but that's what's going to happen. Liverpool, and then a league game, hopefully we'll win them both. I'm not holding any hope for the Liverpool game. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the Making Maribor Youth Challenge Save. This carries on, as explained in the last episode, from the previous series, which was Making Maribor a Slovenian adventure. We've won the Champions League, we've won the World Club Cup, we've won the Europa League, we've won everything possible to win with NK Maribor. So now this save has evolved into a Youth Challenge Save. Today we're playing Liverpool, I've mentioned that. We'll have a quick look about how things are going. So we're dominating the league like we always do, which is really, really good. We've actually only conceded two goals in 13 games, which quite frankly is ridiculous. Um, we've done very well in the Champions League. We sit top of the group with two wins from two. We've beat Legia Warsaw 2-1 and we beat Milan 1-0. We're into the quarterfinals of the Cup and we've won the Slovenian Super Cup. So, onto the squad, we've got a few youngsters that have come in. Actually, if I just go back to how that was sorted by age. So, uh, Sasa Zor's doing very well. He's now our starting right back. He's putting in some very good performances for us. Socrates Cohello, uh, he's looking pretty good. He's made some appearances, if we see down here. He's actually made um, four appearances in the Champions League, which is more than I thought he had made. And then he's made five in the league. So, he's doing pretty well as well in the league. He's getting his average rating up. He's just settling into how we play uh Tejero, 22 again he's doing pretty well generally playing on the left wing when he comes on and when he plays hasn't had too many games so far Sabri Darushi is also in again another good midfielder he's doing pretty damn well three games in the league averaging a 7.4 and yeah we're slowly introducing some of these youngsters okay people like Lurch and Viklamovic Gurgic and to be fair to Hero, they're, they're standout players. They are very, very good. If we look at the B team, appearances-wise, we've got all these people out on loan that are making appearances. Um, Zoran Kranjic is making some appearances at right wing. He's doing very well for them at the moment. Average rating-wise, Oscar Malehi, 12 goals in five games, which is absolutely really ludicrous. He has got called up to the senior squad uh, in this series, in this season, sorry. Uh, he scored a hat-trick in his only game for the club, which was brilliant. He then kept his place, if I'm right, for the Champions League and didn't do too well. So he actually scored a hat-trick in the league, kept his place for the Champions League against Legia Warsaw and got a 6.4, so he got subbed off. But he is progressing nicely as well. Generally, we've got some good people coming through. Gyro is a goalkeeper that I'm trying to keep an eye on. He will probably get called up to the first team next year. He's... I'm pretty sure he was Brazilian, but now has been capped by Poland, so is is classed as Polish. So he'll be coming up to the first team, probably to replace Pella, because Pella is just a little bit shit, really. He's just, he's all right. He's all right. Might try and cash in on him. It's a shame to lose a Slovenian, but he's never going to play for us. Regazzoni is quite clearly the backup at the moment, but Gyro's probably better than him, so we could cash in on Regazzoni as well, to be honest. But anyway, that's enough of my waffling. Financially-wise, £42 million we've got in the bank. We're doing really well. The board are really happy with us, obviously. The stadium is being expanded. Um, let's ask them if we can improve our youth facilities. I'd like to improve the youth facilities as the club to enable our young players to reach and challenge for a first-team role. Um, to give us the best possible chance of developing top-quality players from within. It's very important. They accept our request. Well, that was very easy, wasn't it? That was easy enough. Um, cool. We're going to get some new youth facilities. This is what I'm hoping will happen with the you being a youth challenge. Is that you don't spend any money on transfers, so your bank balance just goes up and up and up and up and up, and the club are then happy to reinvest in stuff because you've got a shit ton of money. But anyway, um, is this how we're going to line up? Is anyone needing a fitness change? Podzic is looking a bit tired. Um, we could... Could play De Bruschi there, but he doesn't normally do very well in the attack midfield role. Now we'll leave it as it is. We'll, we'll keep with uh, we'll keep with Hodzic in centre midfield. Uh, Markov is going to go on the bench in, okay, of Margotson. We could play Blazic actually in attacking midfield. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll take off. Va no, we'll leave Vale's Va very good. We'll take off De Bruschi. Uh, and bring on Blazic. And that's how we're going to line up for the game. So it'll be Vigilante in goal. Zor, Garza, Djurakovic and Lekic at the back. Martinez and Lurch in the middle. Valentin, Hodzic, Tejero and Roche up front. Let's get into it. 
Here we go. So Liverpool are lining up in a 4-4-2. Very, very British of them. Uh, Beer won the Ballon d'Or last season. He's very, very good. And he's only 26. So expect him to do some good things. Yeah, they're, they're just a good... That's a great name. Fischer Riep is a great name. He's also a very good player. German. They've got a lot of Germans. They've got quite a few Germans. Anyway, um, who manages them now? Who manages Liverpool? Paolo Sosa. There we go. Portuguese Paolo Sosa, once of Swansea, I think he was manager of Swansea previously. Yes, he was manager of Swansea, there we go, for just over a year, bless him. Where else do I recognise him from? Maybe Porto, I don't know. Anyway, let's get on to the game. So we're going to tell the guys, go out there, give the fans the money mirth, we are playing at home. Um, I probably should have said I expect a win to keep our form up. I think pretty much if we win this game... We're going to be pretty much through in the group because um, it will put us on eight points. I suppose it depends on the Milan game. We should really beat Legia Warsaw in the return leg when we play them at home. And that should give us enough points to make our way through the group, which I'll be quite impressed with because I thought this was a very tough group that we got through. But Hodzic brings it forward, tackled by Bajkov. Djurakovic with a terrible header. Paterio picks it up, fires it into the roof of the net. Djurakovic has had an absolute mare. The goal, the header went nowhere near back to the goalkeeper as powerful it needed to be. It was shocking. One shot, one on target, one goal for Liverpool. Bollocks. So Djurakovic, well, it didn't even show the header. It, it just sort of, it was like that was so bad. We'll just show the finish. We're not going to show the header from Djurakovic. It was terrible. We don't need to worry about that. And Paterio runs off like a little aeroplane. And uh, they've got another attack here. It's Beer. Beer to sell him. Sell him out to Honecker. Deflected off Gaza. In it goes. It's an own goal for Gaza. This is not going very well. We'll have to change some things up. But Beer has a shot to sell him. Sell him. Founds Hocus there on the end. Gaza deflects it past Vigilante. It's a pretty rubbish goal to be honest. We'll go up to attack in. Um, we'll work it into the box that we don't have to shoot from range. Let's up the tempo. Get in their face a little bit more. Um, let's let's go wide, shall we? Let's try and use the ball a little bit more. Come on, use the width. They've only got the plan of 4 4 2. We've got space to exploit as Lurch gives it away and gives into Paterio. Shoots and it's 3 0. This is an absolute drubbing that we're getting from Liverpool at the moment. Within 10 minutes, we're 3 0 down at home, and I'm not watching that goal. I'm just not watching it. Lurch gave the ball away. This has been a terrible, terrible performance. After we've been playing so well. And now we drop down to third because Milan obviously must be beating Legia Warsaw. They are 1-0. So we're giving ourselves, we're doing this the hard way. Djurakovic is robbed again. Selin comes in, shoots. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Aggressively, show some bloody passion. Come on, we're playing terribly. Rafael Augusto on the left back. Bajkov. Hookstra, Augusto to Bajkov again. They're just keeping the ball, passing it around. But can we get a foot in and get the ball back? Or are they going to come and get another goal as Hookstra's in? Cross it. And it is. It's 4-0 in the first half. This is absolutely dreadful. What is going on? Um, I haven't been in this position for a very long time. So we're just going to drop to standard, flexible. Let's get rid of some of these. Let's come on. Let's. I'll tell you what. Let's just let the computer do its thing. Normal balanced. The only thing I want to do is whipped crosses. There we go. Right. Can we please actually do something useful in this game? As Paterio put in Hookstra on the left, uh, he got past his man very easily, crossed it in, and it's just a, it's a good finish, and Vigilante should probably do better. Oh, terrible. Right, just to let you guys know as well, there isn't going to be a video. This will be coming out on the Wednesday, I think. I'm on holiday for... Uh, 10 days so there's not going to be a video for a little while it'll probably be a video I can't remember when I'll get back aggressively show me something else this has been absolutely bloody bollocks right we're going to match them up we're going to go to a 4-4-2 sit out there I think we'll put Roche Tahero uh, Tahero is going to come off and be replaced by Vuklum Gergic which is still a, it's an absolutely amazing name um, Valentin can be a winger on support he's playing Lurch is having a terrible game he'll be replaced by Vale and, well, Valentin's having a terrible game. We'll play Markov. There we go. Three subs. Done. Bosh. 4-4-2. Match them up. Two up front. Let's see how we, see how we get on. As uh, It looks like Liverpool is not going to But yes, I'm on holiday for quite some time. As uh, Oh my God, it's 5-0. We are getting absolutely battered. And I mean battered. We are getting absolutely battered. Bajkov with a corner. Crosses it in. 
And uh, uh, Cornez, I think that is, yeah, just it's a great header. It's a phenomenal header. I mean, are, uh, Liverpool must be top. They are top of the Premier League. Are they top of the Premier League by a, while? By a point over West Ham? Fucking hell. Okay. Um, they have, okay, they've won the league the last two years. So we are playing the best club in England, which is annoying to say that as a Man United fan, that it's Liverpool, that are the best club in England. But what can you do? Um I'm sort of writing this game off now, as you can probably tell. Yeah, I'm going on holiday. I'm going to a lovely Caribbean island called St. Lucia for 10 days with my wife, and I'm very looking forward to it. As Rosh hits the post, we can't even get a consolation goal. It's terrible. Uh, so, yeah, there won't be a video until next week sometime, because I'm, the first episode came out on Monday. This is coming out on Wednesday, um, and then I'm on holiday until a week Wednesday. So, yeah, it will be a long time until there's another uh, video. But I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you like the idea of this save. And um, there seem to be some good comments that um, they're happy that we're carrying it on and things like that. So it's, uh, yeah, really good. I'm I'm happy to carry it on. I'm really enjoying this save. And I've got a couple of ideas for Foot Manager 18. We'll have to see which one comes to fruition uh, and see how it goes. But hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. And I feel like this episode's already gone on for quite a long time. It hasn't. So, um... Uh, I was going to say, don't I'm aggressive, I'm far from pleased. That was absolutely terrible. You're all shit. Get out. I should probably find some people for poor performances, shouldn't I? Uh, you can go to that. 5-0, right. Who was terrible? 5.7. Sazo Zor. Um, discipline player 4. Poor performance. Issue a warning. Yes. Dino Djurakovic. Discipline player 4. Poor performance. Issue a warning. Yes. That'll do. They're the only people that got under 6s, so... I'm hoping that they've accepted their warnings. Accepts, accepts. You were very, very poor. Djurakovic is going to be dropped for the next game in the league game, which is NK Cooper. And uh, we'll be back to play that game. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. And we're back for the game against NK Cooper. This is how we line up. Vigilante is in goal. He keeps his place even though he conceded five. Lazaro comes in to replace Zor because Zor was terrible. Kovac comes in to replace Djurakovic because Djurakovic was terrible. Garza gets a start at centre back and left foot comes in. Sam left foot plays left back for us. Martinez and Caholo make up the midfield too, so you're gonna be you're going to see Socrates Cahelo for the first time in this series. Markov is starts on the right wing because um what's his name was terrible. I can't remember who our right winger is. Who the bloody hell's on the right winger? Valentin. He was terrible. Valentin doesn't even make the bench. Blazic comes in for Hodzic because Hodzic was terrible. And Margotson comes in on left wing because Tahero was terrible, and Vuklum and Gergic starts up front because Roche was terrible. On the bench then gives us Hodzic, Roche, Tahero, Lurch, Djurakovic, Zor, and the Ligazoni in what is possibly the strongest bench I've ever had for any game ever. And we're going to go straight into it, no messing around, let's let's just crack on, shall we? Continue, I've picked him for his best chance of winning, they're a different sort of challenge, um, he's just being rested, it's nothing more than that, although I probably should have said he was terrible, so he's being dropped, but... Anyway, uh, opposition instructions, let the assistant do that. I'm not worried about this. But we are passionately going to say, well, I want to say, well, most of these guys, we're the favourites, go out there and press. Most of these guys didn't actually play in the game against Liverpool, so I can't really tell them to go and be better. We're going to attack from the off. I want to get some goals. Let's go. So we're playing Cooper. For the first time in a long time, you get to see a league game. NK Cooper are down in seventh place. We are top already 15 points clear as uh, Vigilante makes a save from Blatnik's header. And we're looking to move forward. Vigilante goes long towards Gergic. It's Blazic picks up the header though. Margotson out to Gergic, up the line. He's tackled and it's a penalty. We seem to get quite a lot of penalties in Slovenia. And most of them in games seem to go to us. But stepping up to take this will be number 22 is Dino Blazic. I think it is. Blazic shoots, sends the keeper the wrong way, fires it into the corner of the goal. His second of the season. A really good corner, actually. Um, he's wearing my old, well, my parents' house number is Dino Blazic, number 22. As he steps up, takes the penalty, pings it into the bottom corner. The goalkeeper has no chance because he dove the wrong way. Even if he went the right way, he probably wouldn't have saved it. But we go 1-0 up, very early doors, which is good to see. As Blacknick comes forward for Cooper, he's tackled very well by Markov, who runs who's just into Juric, doesn't even bother try to go around him, just ran into him. For Jovic to Blacknick, Lazaro with a good tackle. Markov, Markov comes forward, beats his man to Kahalo, who gives it away. He's got to... He's, it's his first live com. He should be trying to impress you guys as the fans. And there he is, Kahalo into Blazic, Markov. This is a good move. Gergic tackled. Margotson picks it up. It was very close to leaving us in the window. Back post to Markov. Oh, the goalkeeper saved it twice in a row. Markov definitely should have done better. But yeah, we were very close to selling Margotson in the transfer window. A lot of bids for him. None of them met the valuation that I wanted, so I kept hold of him. 
chances are he will be going at some point, Margotson. Um He doesn't get that many appearances. Annoyingly, when he plays, he plays very well. I should probably sell to Hero in that case, but... Yeah, we'll have to see. Blazic with the ball in. Gergic is there. It's in the post. Garza. Us in the post. Margotson puts it in, just as I was talking about him. And uh, his second goal of the season. That was a bit of a scramble. I can't wait to see that in 3D. So the corner comes in. Gergic heads it against the post. Garza tackles it. Their guy boots it against the bar. And then Margotson's just like, right, sod this. I've had enough of this. Let's just put it in the back of the net, shall we, lads? Sticks it in with the side foot. And it's good. 2 0 up. Another corner. Blazic with the ball in. Kovac knocks it down. Martinez is there. Fires it in. It's 3-0 in 35 minutes, his first goal of the season. And, uh, yeah, a very good finish by the looks of that. As Blasic, he's playing very well in this game today. Kovac sort of run backwards and headed it across. Fell for Martinez quite nicely. Rifled it past Human in goal for NK Cooper. And this is a bit of a smashing. And can they hold on at 3-0 till half-time? It looks like they're going to. And uh, we just need to keep this up, really. Goals, goals, goals. This makes up for the Liverpool game. The players that I've picked to come in and replace the others are playing very well and that's what we like to see a bit of competition for places as Cooper have looked to shut up shop and gone to a 5-3-2 um, so what we're going to do is we're going to be a little bit more patient we're going to have to go through them a little bit more so we'll retain the possession let's try and force them wide if they're playing that deep we can go really really wide um, because they're not going to have really enough to penetrate us through the middle but we're going to control the ball keep hold of the possession play the ball wide let's, let's try and get some other people involved so, uh, what can we do? Let's mix this up a bit. Well, let's give Tejero a run up front. He hasn't played up front in ages. Let's see if he can do better up there. Socrates Cahello has actually had a good game, but I want to get Lurch back into a bit of form. Um, let me know what you think about Cahello. He's had a very quiet game, but a very steady seven, which is good for a youngster coming in. And I think, well, we'll leave it there for now. I don't need to make all the changes at the moment as Blazic comes forward wide to Margaretson. This is where we're using the width. Blazic into Martinez. Martinez... Looking to run with the ball. He's got a lot of space. Shoots. Deflected and in. And Vajovic will be very unlucky. I think. Well, it's credited to Martinez. Which is ludicrous, I think. Absolutely ludicrous. Because that is going... Uh, well, the keeper should... I mean, it's just... Uh, look at that. How can you give that to Martinez? Um, lovely deflection into the bottom corner. Well thought out by Martinez if you're giving him the goal. But this is a cruise. 4-0 up. We are playing unbelievably well. Subs are now coming on. Uh, look at Sam Leffert having an 8.0, Kovac on an 8.4, Martinez on a 9.4. This is much more like it. This is what we like to see from our team. As Markov runs down the right side, he's been fouled by Juric. That should be a yellow, if not a red card. It depends how cynical it was. It's a yellow card, probably pulling him back with his shirt, I imagine. But Martinez short to Kovac to Lurch. Lurch out to Margaretson. There's an overlap on if he can find him. He does. Sam Leffert crosses in. Tejero's there. Leffert gets the assist. Love to see that. Tejero gets his sixth goal of the season. Leffert's assist will be played over and over again, it's said in the commentary. I'm pretty sure it's just it's just a cross. I wouldn't play that assist over and over again, really. It was pretty rubbish, actually. But uh, we get here. We get to see. So at the moment, we're seeing a 5-0 loss and a 5-0 win, which is quite interesting for a... Uh, live com episode to be fair to see 10 goals in two games but Margaretson Blazic Blazic through to Markov he's fouled by Juric who's just got booked he looks like he's going to be sent off um, and it's going to be Martinez to take this for his hat trick and can we make a little sub just before this happens let's uh, let's give Lazaro a rest or we'll bring Zor on he's already been booked we know that they're down to 10 men and Martinez to try and get the hat trick. Can he do it? Martinez lines it up, puts it into the top corner. It's a great penalty. It's 6 0. And we are absolutely storming this. They've gone to a one up front formation, 5 3 1 wing back formation. But Martinez, cool and calmly as you like. The keeper went for a pencil dive, which is kids, never a good way to try and save a penalty. And we are playing very, very well. Blazic in, headed clear. We've still got more time to get more goals. Zor to Lurch. Lurch, the world-class midfielder, hits the bar. So unlucky for Andre Lurch as Martinez on a 9.6 has got a lovely hat-trick in today's game. As Gaza out to Margotson. Margotson runs forward with it. He's got a lot of space to run into. He's still going, Margotson. And then passes it off to Zor, the right back. Cross into the back post looking for Tejero, but Lurch picks up the clearance. Martinez to Markov. Markov shoots, deflected, humour makes a save, and that will be the game. And it is 6 0 here at Left Foot Park. What a performance. That was much better. Very nice victory. Very well done. And uh, I am happy with that. 36 goals for two against, which is absolutely ridiculous. The fans love it. Six are the best. So 
a very odd episode where you got to see. Uh, oh well, here we go. Who the B team had a game? Who played well for them? Paul Hoffman played the player, player of the match. Another youngster we've got in. He looks very good. Martinez top of the pop. So let's praise him for scoring his hat trick. You were superb in front of goal, including that weir- weird deflection goal that you scored. Well done, Dylan Martinez. But yeah, so there we go. That's that. I mean, a very odd. Conceding five, losing five nil at home, and then winning six nil at home. I mean, two complete polar opposites. We'll be back for. Depending how that Liverpool game goes, it'll be one of these or either both of them to see what happens. But as I said, the next episode won't be out for quite some time. Don't panic. We will be carrying on this series and the Slovenian national series will be carrying on. We just really need some improvements to happen because I'll give you a quick sneak peek of it. Our last game, um, yeah, we lost to Portugal 3-2 at home and we were 2-0 up. Yeah, didn't manage that very well. We're we're relegated from Europa League Division A Group Four, but the World Cup qualifiers are starting, so we'll do a couple of videos with some World Cup qualifiers, probably against the likes of Liechtenstein and San Marino. So you can actually see me win a game as Slovenia manager. But for now, we will end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Why not go and have a look at my Patreon? See what you can get if you sign up to give me some support to make these videos. I want to buy a green screen. That's what the money for that I get from Patreon will go towards so that I don't have to have my white wall and part of my door in here and my TV. I can cover all them up with a green screen so that you just see me. Maybe you don't want to see me. But anyway, I'm rambling again. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll chat to you very, very soon when I will be back off my holiday. Um, And hopefully I'll be very relaxed and very nice, nicely brown. And uh, yeah, it'll be good. Hope everyone is doing very well and I'll chat to you very soon. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.